a very special person joining me here over the next 30 minutes. I'll be talking to Dr. Bernard Bohr. He is a member of the board of Robert Bosch, as well as the chairman of the Automotive Group. Thank you so much, Dr. Bohr, for joining us and speaking to NDTV Profit. My first question and something that uh, should be making news now that the Auto Expo is happening, the investment that you've planned in India, just give us a sense of where all this money will be going and what do you plan to do with this money? We've just announced uh, an investment of 2,000 crores over the next uh, three years here in India. And this is basically in line with our long-term investment plan. Uh, also, in the last three years, we have invested around about 2,000 crores. Where does this go? Into Mainly into capacity expansion and into new technologies. So in recent years, we have localized our common rail diesel injection systems. We have localized the electronic control units for engine management, which we just started this year. And uh, also the ABS manufacturing. We're, again, the first uh, manufacturer, supplier to build ABS systems locally in India. And we will continue uh, this trend over, over the next years. So this three-year period that you're talking about, this is, is this probably a platform or you're building a platform for a much rapid growth over the next few years? Is that a sense that I can pick up when I speak to you? Well, it's more, let's say, proving the continuity, which is basically part of our company, I would say, where we don't get so much excited with, with ups and downs, uh, but keep on going uh, with a steady pace. And we want to take the, the growth opportunities of, of India uh, into, into our perspective, like we have been doing for, for many years. Uh, we started in India in 1954. Um, and um, so bringing, bringing new components, new products into the country uh, and having these available for, especially for, for the new projects in, in, in the market is our target. You're already the largest automobile component manufacturer in India. Now, with this expansion, do you see that? And given the way Indian market is growing, we already see some of the numbers that are coming out for the month of December, what has come out for November for the automobile sales. That is showing a very healthy growth compared to what it was in the downturn year. 12 months ago. What promise is that giving you for the Indian market? Well, I think if I look at it at a, also at a broader picture, uh, what is the financial crisis brought as a sustainable change, as a structural change? Then we see that the, the trends uh, from the established markets to the emerging markets has been reinforced, and, and that's there to stay. So we see already within the next uh, seven to eight years, maybe before the end of the decade, that more cars will be produced in the emerging markets than in the established markets. Uh, and what's also uh, been reinforced as a trend is the trend to smaller vehicles, both uh, due to this change in the structure between emerging and established markets, but also within the established markets, uh, vehicles are getting smaller. So here we see uh, India, first of all, as a, as a growth opportunity. Uh, with steady growth rates of 7, 8, 10 percent over the last years, and I think we can also see that in the future. So what has been the learning so far with the nano experience that you've had uh, the association of several years with that nano project? The, uh, the main learning experience is, of course, to, to simplify things. And uh, that, that may sound a bit strange, but when you have engineers which have been working for many years, for decades, with other engineers who have been also been uh, working on making things more perfect. Uh, you get accumulated complexity uh, which is beyond what the end customer actually needs. And to start with a clean sheet of paper again, and to start with customers who are ready to start with a clean sheet of paper and don't have books and books and books and uh, rules of how to do things, all the accumulated bad experience of the last 20 years put into rules. If you don't have that, uh, very new ideas come up and uh, developing these and then also being able to show them to other customers in the, in the established markets, I think. Tubar.com.